when you look at the markets and how tough it's been, it's actually even worse than it looks to the average American over the last year or two because it looks like the market's been generally flat this year and last, but really that's large U.S. stocks have been generally flat. There's a lot of markets that are in bear market territory. There's a hidden bear market going on. When you look at emerging markets, you look at small cap stocks from bear market territory, international energy. And so the average person that owns a lot of asset classes, which is affluent and more and more the everyday people, they're not really having a great experience because of all of these extremely negative things that are happening. Now, I don't know where the market's going to go, but if you look at the last 12 months, it's clear that the market is very correlated to oil. It doesn't necessarily need oil to fully recover, but it needs to see some stability. I think that's why you've seen a recovery in the last few weeks because oil just stopped its free fall and oil is so interconnected to international and emerging markets and small cap and high yield bonds that you finally saw some pressure alleviated from those asset classes. What worries me most about the economy is the expanding annual deficit that we have. And this deficit looks harder to overcome because it's based on now entitlements. So you have entitlements under Democratic administrations like the, the health care plan, and, and you have them under Republican administrations like the prescription drug plan, which is the largest entitlement program since FDR. These programs are not sustainable the way they are. The revenues just don't match up. So eventually we're going to have to address that because it's one thing to have a big national debt. It's another thing when so much of it is recurring and expanding. We like to talk a lot about which president's going to have a bigger impact, but it usually doesn't have a large impact. A lot of people think Republicans better, but historically, actually, the markets have done much, much better under a Democrat uh, as president. You, we can look at recent history or you go all the way back to the modern markets. The market will shrug no matter who wins, with the exception of Bernie Sanders, who mathematically can't win. He would be something that the markets would have a very adverse reaction to. And I think the reason you're not seeing the market take that into account at all is because it's not mathematically possible the way things look today. Thank you.